Hello, and today I'm going to talk about, quite literally, in my eyes, the coolest Drupal module ever. This module is, is really useful. It's it's called the Plugin Manager. Uh, um, wh what it is, it's a module that you can install on your Drupal site. Um, a module that you can install on your Drupal site to allow you to install, search for, and do everything with other Drupal modules without ever having to open a, a um, FTP client to upload the module. You can just do everything with your module right from the Drupal backend. Um, and it's called the Plugin Manager and it allows you to search the entire repository. Now, I I never never thought something like this would exist for Drupal because it it kind of could be a security hole if scripts if scripts can um if scripts can automate things on, on your site but there's there's some things written about security um just to assure you that it it wasn't it's not not a security risk so this module is called the plugin manager you can find it at drupal.org slash project slash plugin underscore manager and that's what we're going to look at today it's a very active module it it outlines what the purpose is the future and it even answers so many questions as you know it has a, as you can see it has a drupal 6 release and they say right here that they they're not going to backport it to Drupal five, um, but but yeah. So let's get down to it. Just gonna show you the interface. I've enabled it in my modules, and then straight into the admin interface, it, another section appears. Um, you've got several. You've got several options. You've got install, search, settings, uninstall, and update. That's an important thing. You can update modules here. And on my on my test site, views is out of date. And views takes a while to upload via FTP. So views will be a great example to do this with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit update. And then if if we had them it would say um there are no available updates and we could um install them there but here's where the real magic happens we can we can search for any plugin we want and we've got all the um categories that are on Drupal.org here um, and we can also queue up modules so we can install multiple modules so you can install one module and then install all its support modules and for example I want to I'm not going to show you this in this video but just as a um, demonstration of what this can do I'm going to install Um, file field podcaster so I'm going to search for that and as you notice it's there so it's popped up in the search results I can go to the project page see the descriptions see the see the dependencies and I can just hit add and then it adds it to my queue um, and I then I can install the queued up plugins. I also happen to know that I'm going to need file field. I want to search for that. And it loads the search results. And it it uh, shows me every everything that has 
to do with file field and everything relates to it so I can add that and it's just a really really nice JavaScript interface you notice now that it says 2 and it shows me what they are I'm also going to install the token module now I forget that's already installed um, and lastly I need to install SWF tools which is a another module and I'm gonna add that and then I'm just gonna hit the install Q plugins button and it's gonna go out to drupal.org download all those plugins and then put them into my Drupal site I'm gonna pause the video because it will take quite a long time um, or I thought it would but it's 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 downloaded all the um, sh show me all the project pages and I can just say um, it, it wants me to copy and paste all all the MD5 codes so for security reasons that's why it gives you a screenshot of the uh, project page so I can just go ahead and copy that paste it into there and do it with all the other modules so it actually it actually goes out to um, the project page to um, the direct download for the file too so that you know what's going on and the reason why it um, as you for these M MD5 keys so that you know what it's downloading you know that it's actually coming from drupal.org so it's, ma it's making sure that it's not a malicious script running it's actually um, actually is coming from the drupal.org service And I need to get the one for SWF tools. And these are long codes. These an MD5 key is means a file, and um, not not specifically on the web, but it just means a file. And it's a really really unique key seek. So Tell if it's the same file, and they're really long key seek. So so you couldn't fake these so it makes it really secure um, I've got all those copied in so now all I have to do is click the continue to step 3 button and it's now going to ask me my um, username and password for FTP um, So, I, I guess I'm, I'm just going to have to do that. Uh, I don't actually have an FTP server um, running, but I'm just going to... So you can you can see what you can see what would happen, and you just go um, through all those screens, and it would install the um, module. So I just wanted to show you the plugin manager, very cool module, and I'm now going to install it on all my sites, at least in development, because it makes it so much easier to manage. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed the plugin manager. Thank you.